Hey guys, I am back. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for the feedback on my previous two videos. You guys are so nice. Um, I was kind of like, <clears throat> like, should I, should I be brutally honest? Because I don't want to, I obviously don't want to offend anyone who like loves that bag. Um, I know some people are more sensitive than others. I wouldn't care if someone says they hate a bag that I like, but that's just me. So I was kind of... Uh, on the fence of should I be super honest on what I think or should I tone it down or whatever but I was like you know what it's not like I'm this like famous celebrity like I am just an average Joe let me just say what I feel and I'm so glad that you guys understood what I was saying um and I also appreciate everyone who has a bag and loves it that they're like oh it's okay like hopefully you'll find you know one you like so thank you so much to everyone who commented on that video and watched I really appreciate it and welcome my new subscribers I did get a few new subscribers from those videos so hi guys I hope you guys enjoy uh, my videos so like I said I went this weekend I drove freaking hours to the closest Louis Vuitton so I can try on bags so we drove Saturday evening to San Antonio and then the bag that I wanted they didn't have it in um, that Louis Vuitton so then um, Austin is about an hour and a half away so we drove to Austin on Sunday and I left the hotel drove to Austin and they had all the bags I wanted to try on and the CA was so patient um, I asked for her card because I have a couple but I feel I really connected with her so there's a few things that I do want that are coming out next February so I'm for sure gonna text her if anything's available for pre-order or so she can get it for me so I'm really happy to have made that connection like I was saying in the previous video that you know I want to find someone that I can rely on when I want you know something that's a little harder to get or whatever so anyway without further ado I picked up a new bag I was able to um, exchange it and I hope you guys like it it's not very common I looked up a few videos to see what it looked like and there wasn't many but so I thought I wanted like a big hobo bag because you know I felt like I do have larger bags I, like I have the Neverfull and I have a few Tory Burch large bags I have like two or three and I really love them but I was like you know what I want a Louis um big bag but to be honest like and I also wanted leather because I don't have besides the Felici in the red I don't have any leather but I have a ton of canvas so I was like I really want leather and I really want it in black or the turtle dove I just love those colors so I was looking online and I figured out what was missing also from the carry-all mm it's that it was all beige it was all that taupe color so nothing really stood out it did have that luggage tag in the middle but other than that like it I kept saying in like comments like it's missing a sparkle it's missing something on it that's making you know that's making me want to have it so I figured out what was missing it's that it was just too plain it was just too blah so someone commented um to look into the pochette matisse um in the on prompt leather which i've seen and they had it in the turtle dove and i was like okay i love the pochette matisse it's you know a very versatile bag it has a top handle it has a strap so i'm gonna look at those but then i saw this bag and i feel like it's the best of both worlds so can you guys guess what it is it is smaller but i picked up the um, Madeline bag. Isn't this bag so freaking cute and like classy? I know it kind of looks like the, uh, this is like the Coco Handle Louis Vuitton version, but this is what was missing. This, uh, multicolor or like bicolor, so it has the, the cream and then it has, uh, the turtle dove. This is the sass that I was missing in the other bag. So it still looks very classy and it still is beautiful and it's a pretty good sized bag like it's not small by any means um, but it has that little extra zhuzh that I was missing from that big potato sack. I mean it was beautiful and you know what I saw it in store in the black and in my opinion if you still really love that bag and you're okay with the size the black one it was stunning like 
I think that maybe if I would have ordered the black one, maybe I would have kept it. Um, but I was already over that bag, so I didn't even look at it. But there was a ton of people looking at them, and they were beautiful. And then they also, I also tried on the small carry-all PM. And although I loved how it looked, like it did look good, I was fearing it was going to be a little uh, too small on me. No, it looked great. But it did, it, was, it is small. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's pretty small. It was more... It was smaller than I thought. But this one I saw online, and I don't know why, I had never seen it, or maybe I hadn't paid attention to it, and I freaking fell in love, because this is like a Pochette Matisse, but a little bit more elevated. And the price difference between the Pochette Matisse and this one is only a couple hundred dollars. So if you want something like the Pochette Matisse, but a little bit more elevated, a little bit more elegant, in my opinion, go for this. Um, and I believe they have, this is the bigger size, the MM, and then they have a smaller size PM. Um, they don't have it in this one, but they have it in a beautiful cream color, and they have it in a black and cream, which is so gorgeous. Like, I want to, like, buy that one. It is so pretty. Um, but anyway, so I picked this up. Isn't it beautiful? It does have, she had, uh, changed this, so it's backwards, but it does have, um, the Louis Vuitton on, like, slightly stamped on it, which is so pretty. And then I'm going to pull it out so you guys see. It's like a key ring. Like, do you guys actually, would you guys use that, like, to put keys? This is just staying like this for me. And then it has one handle, and then it does have the little hooks, um, so you can put a strap. I'm going to tell you two things that I wish this bag had, um, and it would be perfect. One of them is feet. It does not have feet. Why wouldn't you put feet on this? This is a $3,100 bag. Like, it needs feet. So, I, I would like if it had feet. And then the other thing is, is that if it, this S-lock, if it was some other type of opening, just because I know that gets scratched, but it's totally fine. And then once you open it, oh, I'm sorry, the other thing wasn't the S-lock. It doesn't have a back pocket. It'd be awesome if this was a pocket, because I love a good back pocket for your cell phone. Um... So anyway, so I guess three things, because the S-Lock is kind of a pain in the butt, but um, I loved it nonetheless. And then you open it, and this just has so much detail. If you can see here, it has like an LV on it. Um, really, really cute. And then the inside is a microfiber. Someone corrected me in the last video. Thank you so much. I could have sworn this was suede. And um, it's kind of funny because someone corrected me, and then my husband saw the comment, and then we were in store, and he was like, oh, it has a microfiber lining, and the CA was like, wow, I'm so impressed you know that, because mostly everyone thinks it's suede, and then we kind of like giggled, and co and my husband was like, I only knew that because of your comment, so thank you whoever commented that. I will never get offended if you, um, if you what's it called, correct me, I appreciate it, the, you know, the more I learn, thank you, um, so anyway, so this is the inside, it is absolutely gorgeous, that's one of the things I loved about the other bag, is I felt the inside was so elegant and beautiful, and this one has the same, um, the same microfiber lining in the beige, I probably won't do, this is my problem with organizers, I feel like, depending on the bag, they can make the bag heavier, and then they take away valuable space because some of them are kind of thick. So if anything, if I put an organizer, I would just put it in this front part, but even then, like I don't put pens in my bag, so I don't know if I would put one in here. And then, so it just has one big pocket. This is more spacious than the Pochette Matisse, and I will show you guys a comparison with my Pochette Matisse in case you're interested to see, you know, how it looks. And again, like I said, the Pochette Matisse and Emprunt Leather, they're beautiful, but if you want something with a little bit more zhuzh, this is only a little bit of a difference, and they have it in um, a few colors. And then this is the tag. This one was made in France, and then it does have this really nice uh, pocket right here. So, um, and then, like I said, it does have this beautiful strap, and it is adjustable. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. You hook it onto... You hook it onto the back right here. It has the little hooks. It has the little, the little hooks like the, like the Alma BBs. And then I was also thinking, you know, if I wanted to look cute, I can put the Felici chain on it and just, uh, like drop it like that. This, I tried it on crossbody and it looks so cute. It looks so classy. Um, I probably wouldn't leave the straps on it if I was wearing top handle because they go towards the back like this so they look kind of funny. They don't like really drape over it because the the links are through 
or the hooks are through the back. So I would only wear this if I'm actually going to wear it crossbody. But I love that you do have an option to wear it like that. I think it's I think it's such a beautiful bag and I'm so obsessed with it. I want to sleep with it at night. I didn't, but maybe I will. <laughs> so I know I made the right choice. And since I went with my husband, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get myself something for the pain and suffering of these two bags because I told you to take me in person and you were like, no, and then I had to go through returning and all this turmoil. So I'm going to get my, myself a little something extra. So if you could guess, I picked up the matching wallet. I wanted something smaller, but they didn't have anything. And then once I felt this wallet, oh my God, I already have, oh, I'm sorry, my alarm. I'm filming this before work. I woke up super early today and I said, you know what? Let me film before I go to work because I had so, I woke up, I fell asleep super early last night. I'm sorry, I'm gonna drink some water. I fell asleep so early last night because we were so tired from driving and shopping all day that I was like, you know what? Um, let me film my video before I go to work. So anyway, so I picked up a beautiful Sarah wallet in the same matching print. You guys, this, I don't know, since it's thinner, this is literally like butter. When I opened this, and I like, do you see how, like, you know how leather gets softer with time? This one's already there. It is so soft, it's such a good size. Um, I was in between this one and the zippy, but I felt like the zippy, had almost the same like it held the same and it was it was quite the difference it was like two hundred dollars more so I said for a zipper I'm not gonna pay two hundred dollars more and I really loved how this one felt like this like soft buttery leather and it holds so many credit cards it has four slots here in the front and then it has six slots here in the back it has the zippered it has the zippered pocket and then it has six more slots here in the back and then it has this little pocket right here which I always put a two dollar bill in so I absolutely loved it and I just I actually left with just the bag and my husband bought a pocket organizer that I'll probably show you in another in another video I do have another Louis Vuitton haul and it's gonna be my last one for the year I know these can get a little obnoxious but I did order a few things online they're smaller things so I, I do want to show you guys so isn't this just so gorgina and I did check, I would probably keep this in the um, back pocket, just because that back pocket is um, slimmer. So there's not, I'd rather keep the, the front one um, free. So you can still fit a couple things in there. But I did, I just thought it was like, isn't that so cute? It's just on another level. And then the front does have a really good sized pocket, okay? So... I'm obsessed, as you can tell. Don't you guys love it? I'm obsessed. This is what I needed. This is this is what I needed. Like opening right now, I got home and I put it away and I put it in my office. And right now that I'm opening it, I'm like, you know what? I made the right decision. I just love this. And then let me show you guys. <laughs> I'll be done soon. Let me show you guys with the pochette Matisse because I thought that was. Thank you to that person who commented to look into the pochette Matisse because that's what led me to find this bag. I had not seen it before. Um, so this is the pochette Matisse next to it. So you can tell it is bigger. Um, it is wider, as you can see, just a little bit, or maybe it's kind of the same. It's a little bit wider, um, and it is longer. So that's how it on top. It is about, it's about an inch, an inch and a half wider. I will also put the measurements down below. But as you can see, it does have its similarities. And I know I love this bag. So this is just a winner. And I, you know what? I have been looking at the cocoa handles. And I think they are so pretty. I've been looking at a lilac one, like a lavender one on Fashion File. But I need to, I need to hone it in. Okay, someone needs to send me to Handbags Anonymous. So I'm, I'm not going to get anything in a little while you know what I do a little sneak peek you know what I do want to get and I told my husband I said you know what look at this bag I'm gonna order it he's like okay I was like cool because it's like you know what I work too so it's not like I need to ask but um 
I do feel better when he's like, yeah, I get it. So I don't know if you guys have seen the the pink. I'll put it up here. The pink Speedy that Foxy has put in her Instagram. I think it's so cute and I don't have anything that size. And I don't have a pink bag. So I think when that comes out, I am going to order it. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um subscribe please i would really appreciate it if you haven't already and again thank you so much for all the kind comments i really really appreciate it it's so nice i was literally like such like a giddy little girl with everyone being so kind i appreciate it and i hope you guys keep watching i have more to come bye